He is also on the scene. Uh, John, can you hear us? John, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, John, what are you seeing there uh, from your vantage point? Well, uh, we're at the firehouse, and uh, it's still a huge scene here, but fortunately, kids are getting reunited with their families, and their parents are starting to bring them home, obviously pretty distraught. But uh, as far as uh, the school, we're still too far away from seeing the school, but the police presence here is massive. We saw FBI snipers, ATF snipers, and obviously state police, and I believe the uh, major crimes unit just pulled in, so it looks like the school is secure right now. We don't know that for sure, but uh, as far as uh, information on what exactly happened, uh, we're still kind of uh, don't have too many answers right now. John, how are the re uh, how are the parents being reunited with their children? I mean, is it just them running in, screaming their child's name, and their child running towards them, or is there some sort of uh, system? Well, it's a fluid situation out here. Apparently. Uh, well, I mean, from what we can see, the kids were brought to the firehouse here down the street from the school, and then parents started showing up. I'm not sure if they've been, you know, asking them who their kids are and checking them off the list, but mm -hmm. uh, it looks like the kids are all just being uh, reunited with uh, the parents. I don't know what the system is, um, but a lot of parents are actually watching neighbors' kids until their parents show up. So, like I said, it's a pretty chaotic scene, um, but... Uh, but it's a, you know, it's kind of a bittersweet scene because a lot of parents are finally just relieved that their kids are okay. Absolutely. Are you hearing from any of the students or the parents exactly what happened there this morning at about 9:40? Well, there's a lot of reports. Uh, one lady said that she heard that a uh, masked man busted his way into the school. We were hearing reports of who was shot. Maybe a teacher. Maybe the principal. Um, obviously, we don't want to. Uh, have anybody alarmed out there about the situation because none of this is confirmed but uh, you know a lot of the kids we talked to said yeah they heard several shots one lady said that you know she lives in the neighborhood and she said that uh, she heard as many as a hundred shots oh my gosh so paint the scene for us again John Charlton uh, right there you're, you're at the uh, fire department which is not very close to the school and this is seems to be a staging area for the students to be taken and then the parents can meet with them at this fire department and then take them home yeah uh, the, the fire house is probably less than a quarter mile uh, away from the school but uh, you know you can't see the school from where we are because of the trees and, and uh, bushes that kind of stuff but uh, it's around the bend um, but we did talk to a couple kids, and they said what happened was uh, how they got to the firehouse. Police got into the uh, the school as uh, teachers locked uh, the students into their their classrooms. Got to the kids, told them to hold hands and run out, and it took them about two minutes from the school to get to the firehouse. So. You know, despite the chaotic situation, uh, the kids did a really great job being orderly and getting to the firehouse as quick as possible. Well, it's interesting that, um, unfortunately, schools around the country have been witness and, and victim to this kind of shooting. So I know that in a lot of schools, they not only, whereas back in the day we had fire drills, now children do uh, drill for this exactly kind of emergency, unfortunately. But uh, at a time of need when they have to act because of those um, practice drills, it's good yeah, to know that it, works. it looks like it looks like the kids learned their lesson right. well. I mean, it was amazing. We got here on the scene and we see some. Uh, most of the kids were were completely fine, completely calm. Yeah. You know, we did see a couple still crying, but uh, but you know, it was the parents, obviously and understandably, that uh, were the most distraught, knowing not being before they got here. Um, you know, if their kids were okay, and you know, obviously there was a lot of cheerful. Uh, uh, times being reunited, um, but for the kids, for the most part, they were uh, pretty calm. Right. Have you had a chance to talk to any uh, police or any authorities there in terms of uh, learning what suspect they're looking for, or description, or anything like that? No, I mean, we, we pulled up on the scene as a lot of police pulled up on the scene. I, I even sent back some video from my iPhone on Interstate 84 of just Dozens and dozens of state troopers rushing down here, wow. um, but police haven't talked to us yet. I saw Lieutenant Paul Vance uh, just pull up on the scene about uh, five minutes ago. Obviously, he'll be the spokesperson in this situation. Um, so we're we're still waiting on information. Uh, hopefully, that'll be coming to us uh, shortly. We're getting set up here for a press conference, so so hopefully we'll uh, we'll get that soon.
And speaking of that, John Charlton, we understand Ayanna Harry has just spoken to Lieutenant Paul Vent, so let's check in with her. Ayanna, are you there? I think I'll take a few seconds for them to get that set up. We're eager to know um, what the latest is from him because he's, of course, uh, their communications person for the state police, and he'll be able to give us a good idea of how many people are there. Um, and I'm sorry. Uh, the uh, we're getting information that they still have not yet secured the building, which is, um, I guess, as uh, Ayana was telling us earlier, why they're still sending in those ATF, those armed ATF agents, um, and lots of action still there on the scene as they try to, to get things under control. We're learning Lieutenant Paul Vance is calling this a tragic scene. So again, if you're just joining us, this is a shooting at Sandy Hook Elementary School in Newtown, Dickinson Drive. This is grades K through four, 600 plus students, about 40 students. Staff, one shooter confirmed dead. No word on if there's another shooter or a third shooter. No word on how that one shooter was killed, if it was a self inflicted gunshot wound or police shot that person. No word on uh, who this person is male, female, young, old, or what have you. But let's check in with Ayanna Harris. She